Did that so I could hear if they were on the totem. Why does it always harass when- I know, it's like maybe you've done on purpose, right? I've said it before. It is weird that it goes straight to harass. Medium. Gets away with it, never mind. Hmm. I don't know about you, um. Breaking that, oh there she is. Breaking that uh, door, slow me down. Or the unbreakable, I can't hear her man. Dude, the sound. Ooh, it's a yikes. It literally makes you feel like you're deaf this game now. You got bad hearing anyway. Well, I have really fucking good hearing, and this game literally gaslights me into thinking my hearing's bad. I can play any other uh, game and I hear crystally clear where people are at. This game. Can't fucking hear shit. They could be like literally right at the side of me. With like an object between us and I can't hear them. I'm not sure when the PTV is coming in. It isn't today, is it? Oh. I wonder if there's some people who play this game and they use um, more than just filters. They use like audio stuff. Where uh, they fine tune the audio to make it where they can hear better. I wonder if that's like a thing. It definitely would give you a competitive advantage if you could do that. See ya. Go for you as well, lad. Fucking gaslighting game. Why are you so quiet? You don't even have fucking iron will or anything. <laughs> fucking hell. You don't even have fucking iron will. There's no object there. He's still fucking muffled. This guy's trying to go to a dead zone, I think. He might be able to make it, let's see. Dead zone? Nah, we can make that. 
People use equalizers complex specifically. Uh, maybe I need to when I play a DVD. How much, uh, how much difference does he make? I just find it so hard to hear shit in this game now. You might have made a death killer. We've actually said that idea. Where he sees, um, you know, like, um, ripples in sound or whatever. Where people are at. We can't see anything else. I don't know. They'd have to do something with the layout, though, wouldn't they? I don't know how you'd be able to do that. Maybe, maybe uh, he has no collision. Yeah, I guess you could do it that way. Like, he has no collision with anything. So he can just go through anything, but he can't see anything. Could be interesting. Might not be. It could be a complete flop. But it's definitely different. Yeah, this is a bad map of spirit. This map's probably bad for every killer, I think. But it isn't really the map. Um, it's more so the uh, the sound, what I'm talking about. Nice. Oh, yeah, so I was in DC, yeah. Just flew into another game. Maybe that's the play. Maybe you want to stand still, triangulate the sound, and then bang. Maybe that's the way to do it. Wall hacks and stuff would mean it cheated you. You wouldn't class uh, EQ as that. Honestly, Doc, I, I thought there were no issue with uh, making it so you can actually hear things. Uh, you know how people call it like sound whoring? Like, it doesn't make any sense to me. Like, using your one of your senses, like, is, is looking eye whoring. <laughs> you know? Like, you're using your senses for an advantage. Oh, stop eye whoring. Using it, to, you're using your senses as an advantage. Stop. You know what I mean? You have an issue with fellas, you should have an issue with raising sounds. Yeah, you're not wrong with that. Though, me having an issue with filters or sound or whatever, don't really change that people are still going to use them, though. Uh, also, me regarding that, just so you understand, I'm not talking about using outside stuff. I don't usually use outside programs. I'm talking about the developers making it so the sound's bad. Like, why are they doing that? That's, that's where I'm coming from, by the way. I'm not talking about third-party software. I don't use third-party software on a lot of stuff. Only time I've ever used third-party software was probably when I was taking FPSs seriously, I think. Yeah, I think that's the only time. And I think even then I might not have. No, it wasn't third-party. It was through the config, I think. Oh, shit. I will ask, I will ask Charles' his launcher tomorrow, is it? Yeah, yeah, we'll fuck with that. We'll check it out. I didn't know it was tomorrow. Yeah, we'll see what that's all about. I have no idea what to expect. Pop. Ah! Now we've got this weird Orny build next. You played the claws beta, it was really nice. I have zero idea what to expect. I don't think behavior are bad with sounds. I think they're doing this shit on purpose.
Horny build. Not horny build. <laughs> Both in flashlight is technically nerfed fire up. Yeah, that's true. Though fire up was kind of shit, so don't really matter. The devs said they were adjusting sounds on survivors, remember? And they're only going to adjust them to make them quieter, not louder. Inside of my fob, so I couldn't actually see him. Why would they do that? It makes no sense. So I have a theory with uh, behavior and DBD, and my theory is they want survivors to feel like they're really good at their game. That's my theory. And once you think of that theory and believe it's a reality. I'm not saying it is, it's a theory. A lot of stuff aligns up. You know, the 4%, the uh, uh, really bad sound, uh, the gen speed efficiency, uh, god pallets, safe loops, um, for a time at base, um, you know, etc. Et all that, it all starts lining up. So, not saying it's a reality, it's just a theory, but a lot correlates to the theory. You can't deny, right? Yeah, you don't need to agree with it, uh, Grumpy. I'm just saying you can't really deny the correlations, can you? Like, it's, it's pretty much objective. Like, they correlate very, very perfectly. Uh, how did someone get a thousand win streak with Blight if that's the case? That makes no sense uh, to what I just said. One player playing one of the strongest killers in the game, getting a, a win streak, has no impact on making the majority of the survivor base feel that they're good at survivor. It's a... Uh, a whole different conversation. Uh, and also regarding them people who are getting like a thousand win streaks or whatever, they should challenge uh, some top comp players and see how the match goes. I don't know why they don't actually. It's weird. Like, do they not want to see where they're at and, and kind of see how the game plays out at that level? I'm not sure. Um, but I, I, I would, like if I was one of them, I would definitely do that. G G G G G 